Hey guys, welcome back to my corner. So today we are going to talk about makeup essentials for the summertime. By the time you see this video, it's well into June and so I thought I would share with you some of my recommendations for the summer. Are you guys feeling it? Today that I'm filming this video, it's actually 90 degrees here in California. So it's piping hot, it's really hot. I don't know why I'm wearing this, it's kind of hot actually. Um, so when we think about summer, you know, we don't want to pile a lot of makeup on, although sometimes I do anyway <laughs> the number one thing that i think of during the summertime is spf just protecting my skin making sure i don't get sunburned and making sure that my makeup still looks good despite the heat and the sweat and the humidity and all of that stuff so the first thing that you really need during the summertime is a bold bright lip why not right exact color that i have here on my lips right now i love this and you don't see me wear a lot of bold lips most of the time but when i do i do it during the summer because i feel like it's really refreshing to see like a bright lip and just a very neutral or natural makeup look so this one that i have on is from mac and this is in the color moxie so this is what it looks like. And you would think that this type of bright color isn't gonna go with like darker or more tan skin tone, but it does. It's such a nice pop of color on the face and not a lot of bright colors really look good on me. And so this one, it's just the perfect shade um, without being too, too bright or colorful and so let me swatch this for you this is what it looks like right there here i go again cleaning my makeup but yeah you can't go wrong with this bold lip right here during the summertime from mac the next thing that i recommend is the clinique pep start daily uv protector broad spectrum spf 50. So it's in this nice bright yellow bottle and I love it. Can you guys hear that? So you want to shake this product up really well before you use it. And then this is like kind of the first step that you put under your makeup. And you can even put this on without any makeup. It has that color correcting technology where it kind of matches the color of your skin tone. Um, as you rub it in it has that kind of blurring effect to it I would treat this kind of like a primer it does have hydrating benefits and then you have your SPF 50 and that's what I really like the skincare and SPF in one because it saves me a step so I really really love this it's like $19.50 at Ulta or Sephora so definitely check this out I can skip moisturizer when I put this on I feel like it's an over overall BB cream but it's not advertised as a BB cream but I love it as that and so highly highly recommend this if you have oily skin another alternative for sunscreen is this unseen sunscreen by super goop so hopefully you guys can see that so I only have kind of like the trial size because I'm testing some of the Super Goop um, products right now. One thing that stood out for me is this unseen sunscreen because it's exactly what it says in the bottle. It's an unseen sunscreen. Can you guys see that right there? This little tiny dot that I made, almost not noticeable right there. It's very gel-like in texture. Actually, it leaves your skin feeling kind of velvety smooth, almost pore filling. It has SPF 40 and I like to apply it right under my makeup. It's $34 at Sephora. It's a clean brand, so it has only good for you ingredients. Um, it doesn't break me out. It's advertised as a primer and an antioxidant, so that's good. I see this kind of like a pore filling primer because it does have that very silicone-y texture to it. And if you have oily skin, I would use this over 
the Clinique Pep Start. This one is very hydrating. And this one is more of a pore filling primer with SPF. And it is not moisturizing at all. So you guys need to wear your moisturizer under this. But it's great because you can't see it. Oh, and the other thing, it's not only unseen, but you can't smell it, you can't see it. It is vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, reef safe, gluten free, all of that stuff. This is another great buy during the summertime. Another summer recommendation of mine is the Sun Bay Mask. So it's $2.50. You guys know I am a Face Story affiliate. I'll leave my link down below in the description box in case you want to buy some. But Sun Bay Mask is one of my most favorite mask of all time and it's very very moisturizing maybe you overstayed under the sun for too long and this mask is really gonna help with the irritation on your skin now i don't have it with me i've used it which reminds me i do need to buy some now that summer is coming up you guys need to get yourself one too so i'll leave my link down below if you guys want to check that out on mondays it's one dollar masking mondays fridays a few skincare and other bundles are on sale at facestory.com as well so check that out basically the sunbay mask has aloe vera has jojoba oil and other moisturizing ingredients aloe vera calms the skin soothes and hydrates the skin jojoba oil helps treat acne it's great for dry skin and it also treats sunburn so all of those good ingredients are combined in the sunday mask i will link a video up here of me trying on the sunbay mask from facestory.com so you can take a look at it and i distinctly remember that i had nothing bad to say about that mask it was one of the best i'm definitely going to stock up on that soon because it's definitely a must for the summertime the next thing that i always have during the summertime because i do have oily skin is a blotting powder and so my favorite blotting powder is the one from cover fx and i love this powder i'm getting a little scared because i haven't seen this powder online at sephora lately so i don't know if they're trying to reformulate this perfectly good blotting powder i hope not it comes in three shades um light medium and dark and i have the medium one it is talc free paraben free phthalates free i need this in my life and i can't live without it and the reason why is because it mattifies you and it also blurs your face at the same time it just sinks into the face and becomes one with the face it doesn't seem like cakey or dry on the face it perfects your makeup if you have makeup on and it perfects my skin and pores i feel like this is best for touch-ups this has kaolin clay it has green tea both ingredients are great at soothing and absorbing oil on the face also uh there is no flashback perfect to have uh, in your purse or in your bag or whatever it may be i always have this by my side and that's how good it is so okay the next item is the peter thomas roth instant mineral broad spectrum spf sunscreen so this is what it looks like this is a very very interesting sunscreen because it is in powder form so what i like to do is pull this retract it back close it and then now it's back inside and then you just kind of tap it on the table and the powder from the bottle goes into the brush and you can kind of just touch up on the go and who would have thought because you know when you have makeup on you can't just reapply sunscreen right and you all know no matter how high the spf is you still need to reapply again every few hours so this is the perfect perfect product to use especially if you have makeup on because it's not going to disrupt your makeup it doesn't work like my blotting powder where it kind of really perfects your face at the same time this can be a little bit powdery but if you have oily skin like me the powderiness immediately disappears and this is a mineral sunscreen very natural did i tell you guys it's spf 45 and it also has vitamins a c and e to help nourish the skin so 
all good ingredients you can find this at Ulta I believe it is $30 yes it's a little pricey but for what it does I feel like it's really a must be careful though because when the powder is on the brush it kind of explodes it does kind of like travel in the air sometimes I've inhaled it before and I'm like okay what is that but it's nothing nothing really bad because it is a mineral sunscreen the next item is a new discovery of mine well it's nothing new but it is new to me this is the thrive cosmetics CC cream and so you guys heard of thrive before thrive is really well known for their mascara their tubing mascara and I definitely have some thoughts about that I have recently bought a whole full face of Thrive Cosmetics and I can't wait to tell you guys what I think about them but this is a sneak peek right now it has SPF 35 this has 18 different shades I wish they could extend their shade selection a little bit more what I love about this is that it works well with any type of product now last year one of my most favorite um, CC creams was the one from it cosmetics and i'm almost all out but i'm so glad that i finally got to try this one it cosmetics cc cream i feel like it's a little too full coverage for the summertime but this one is the perfect medium to full coverage but it has blurring effect technology um, you can put it on with your fingertips. It's very lightweight, very hydrating without really making me oily at all. I would say this is a good medium coverage, which is what I tend to look for in the summertime anyway. It's not too thick. It's not too heavy. It's not too full coverage. Um, it's just a perfect in, bet in between. But if you want to build this up, it is buildable to a full coverage. So, you know, I have nothing bad to say about this. This is a great CC cream alternative. Um, now, this is $38. It is a little pricey. I hope Thrive can make it to Ulta someday because I know their mascara is currently selling at Ulta, but hopefully their full line of makeup will soon make it to Ulta because I'm really rooting for this brand. It's a great brand. This cancels fine lines, cancels pores. It's just a perfect, perfect CC cream for the summertime and you get your SPF 35. I think you guys will really, really enjoy this. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video or learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. There's always something to learn here on my channel. I do honest, no high product product reviews on beauty and makeup and sometimes home and lifestyles. Comment down below what your favorite summer must-haves. And it doesn't have to be makeup related. It could be anything that you can't live without during the summertime. So let's talk about it down in the comments below. And yeah, with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye!